Another weekend is uh, here. We've seen a few of those rain clouds coming by, courtesy of the tropical wave, but there's still that Saharan dust in the air. And so it's quite thick at times. So obviously for those with asthma and pollen allergies, take the necessary precautions. That Saharan dust will likely linger throughout the weekend. So no surprise then, we'll see the dry, dusty air across Trinidad and Tobago. Across Tobago's hillsides, you'll notice quite thick concentrations at times, but also while feeling quite breezy, especially along those eastern areas of uh, Tobago. As you go through the eastern areas of Trinidad, the Saharan dust will be there. Of course, western areas, there's still a bit of moisture around. A few clouds may bring a few brief showers, but overall, the day will be mostly hazy as you go through north as well as south Trinidad, and all the while feeling quite breezy, especially towards uh, those uh, eastern areas. Now, what does this mean for temperatures? Looking at a warm 32 degrees Celsius across the board, and it seems as though we'll keep temperatures uh, up as you go through the weekend. There's occasional clouds expected on Saturday, a few showers, mostly for Trinidad. And then on Sunday and Monday, the Saharan dust returns. Now for fish folk and sea bathers, the winds are fresh and occasionally strong, gusting at times. So definitely look for occasionally choppy seas out there in the Atlantic. 2.5 meters expected here, 2 to 2.5 meters through the Caribbean. So if you are heading out, just take the necessary precautions in that wind. Now remember that Saharan dust plume that came by on a Sunday. Well, it's now official. It is an historic dust plume. It was the largest uh, concentration of dust measured across the Caribbean out in Barbados and uh, Puerto Rico. So obviously this is one for the record books. That's weather and that's it for me.